Today's presentation is on, I think, a very interesting topic, and it's going to be about organizing your ebooks with Calibre, or I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, so if anybody has a correction, please just let me know. So we're going to be covering a few different subjects today. Firstly, what the platform actually is, how to access it on your laptop, how it can actually help you to manage your ebook library, edit metadata, and also transfer books to your e-reader devices, all of which are super helpful, and some alternative similar applications if you're looking for something a little different. So to begin, what is Calibre? It is a powerful and very easy to use ebook manager. In particular, it is a free open sourced ebook management software. Luckily and helpfully, it has many different features and all of these features in combination allow you to manage, organize, edit, and even convert your ebooks into various formats, making it very helpful to users. You can use it to convert an ebook, for example, from one format to another, edit your ebook files, and also view your ebooks by using it as an e-reader. As a virtual library management tool, you will be able to store and sort all of your ebooks in one place using Calibre. This allows you to organize and search for them by metadata as well. Importantly, you can also use the platform to send ebooks to various e readers including emailing them to your Kindle device, Android device, and even a number of other ebook devices, making it easy to access them and actually enjoy whatever you're reading. So now we're going to discuss how you can actually access the platform from your laptop. It is available on Windows PC, Windows 64-bit, Linux, and also Mac laptops. After you have downloaded the software, you can launch Calibre and use it to convert ebooks from one format into another. And here's a screenshot from platform open on a Windows device. So a few things that you can see. You can see some information about the book, such as the title, any authors and the date. You can add books by clicking on the red book with the plus symbol. You can also convert books by clicking on the symbol with the book and two arrows. Then you can also search for books by clicking on the globe. And on the side, you can look through different authors you have, various languages of the book, if it's in a series, some other important things such as the publishers, ratings, any related news, etc. For example, if you have a Kindle book in MOBI format, but you just got a new ebook reader that only recognizes EPUB files, then you can use Calibre so you don't have to go out and buy the book a second time for the new format. Instead, you can upload the MOBTI file to the software and then you can automatically convert it into your preferred format, which in this case is EPUB. So this is a great example of how effective and helpful Calibre can be. There are luckily lots of supported formats to choose from, from both input and output. 
So this means you can give the platform various formats and then it can generate another format, including docs, PDF, EPUB, HTML, MOBI, and also text, which is really helpful just because different e-readers use different formats. And then for the supported output formats in particular, they allow you to create EPUB files, PDFs, docs, MOBI, text, AZW3, and HTMLZ. Now we're gonna speak a bit more about the functionality of the platform. The interface is pretty simple and it's easy to understand and navigate, including the ability for you to easily convert between formats. Once you've converted an ebook to a different format, you can access both versions from your Calibre library, so you can access them at any time. Now we're going to go over how it can actually help you to manage your ebook library, edit metadata, and even transfer books to your e-reader devices. You can save lots of time using the platform by managing your ebook collection. Because Calibre's user interface is designed to be as simple as possible, using these different functions can be done very easily. You can also take advantage of the advanced search and sorting functionalities, including the use of tags, authors, comments, and more, making it easy for you to search through different books that you have in the library. So unlike a physical library, where sometimes we struggle to actually find exactly what we're looking for, you can simply put in the title or the author, and then you'll be able to find your book. And I think this is especially helpful for people who are avid readers or really love to read. Um, you may have lots of books saved and it'll be easy to find them. Though this is a great option, there are also some alternatives. Firstly, there's Polar, which is a desktop application which helps to manage all your web content, including books and notes. There's also Moon Plus Reader, which allows you to read thousands of ebooks for free. It supports online ebook libraries, and it also allows you to read local books with smooth, smooth scroll and lots of innovation as well. Next, there's also Librera Reader, which makes ebook reading very pleasurable, and it even features a unique auto-scrolling, hands-free musician's mode. So if you're reading music, for example, sheet music, then you'll be able to use this as you play your instrument. There's also Foliate, which is a simple and more modern ebook viewer, and it's for Linux desktops in particular, and also Read Era, which supports chapters, bookmarks, and page style. So now we're gonna watch a live demo video together just to learn a bit more about the platform and in particular, how to get started. So we wanna thank you so much for listening and joining us today. And if you'd like to learn this lesson with a Cyber Seniors Mentor, please go to our website or call our phone number to register for a one-on-one -on -one phone session. We do also host weekly tech drop-in sessions from 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern time on Thursdays and everybody is more than welcome to join in with any questions or comments. Thank mm -hmm. you.